Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now September 16th of 2023 and I think that we can all agree here that Bob Iger, and I know I say this a lot if not too many times, that Bob Iger is definitely the worst CEO of all time, at least in my book. I don't know if you all agree, but he's right up there with Bob Chapek. They are kind of very similar in different ways. We know that Chapek really wreaked havoc on the Disney parks and really, you know, created a very negative impact on all the destinations destinations throughout the world. But when we look at Bob Iger, this is the guy that was directly responsible for the box office failures of many movies, as well as the stocks hitting an all-time low, which seemingly is an all-time low, especially at least a nine-year low a couple of weeks ago. But what's interesting about Bob Iger is exactly what he had to recently talk about when it comes to a major announcement. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's go over what Bob Iger had to talk about when it comes to Disney and how they are essentially about to rip you all off when it comes to one of their business models. Now, as you all know, his cost containment plan is deeply impacting Disney, and it's not just about Marvel and Star Wars, it's also about everything else, whether it be Nat Geo or ESPN or whatever it may be related to Disney in general, like their live action remakes. Everything is becoming more small scale, with less and less employees making these products or making these projects. And not just that, Bob Iger had some things to talk about when it comes to ripping off the fans. Quite literally, he said that this is their overall plan and structure for Disney+. Plus. Let's get into exactly what's happening here. So, with Disney and Bob Iger attempting to course correct the company with their films and TV shows, he recently delivered something rather revealing about the future of Disney and how they will essentially be ripping off customers. Iger went on to deliver the following. In order to combat our troublesome economy and the rise of inflation, our cost containment plan will be impacting our Disney Plus content for the years to come. Starting in 2024, our aim is to reduce streaming strain on our platform by removing a certain percentage of content while unfortunately raising rates for our plans and customers starting in the first half of 2024. Here at Disney, it is never our full intention to reduce content while increasing rates for our products. But in our trying times, we felt this was a necessary move. In order to balance this out, our cost containment plan will focus on more small-scale projects for both film and television that will be making its way to Disney Plus as we begin to focus more on our live-action remakes, Marvel films, and Star Wars films as well to slowly shift back to focusing on theatrical releases on that end of the spectrum. So guys, let me just stop here before I get to the next thing that Iger talks about. So basically, what he is literally saying here is that in 2024, they're going to be upping the rates, the prices, if you will, of all the plans of Disney+, Plus, or even the singular plans of Disney+, Plus, and at the same exact time, removing tons of content. Now, he does say a specific percentage. And from what we talked about a couple of weeks ago, it's not going to be a small one. It's actually going to be quite, you know, quite significant, a quite a big chunk out of Disney Plus content. And so basically what he said, what was really revealing to me, I don't know if you guys caught that, streaming strain. They want to lower streaming strain. So from what I gather, if I really had to put that into translation, I think what he's getting at is that they're trying to reduce the amount that they have to pay or spend on internet usage or bandwidth on Disney Plus and how many people are tuning into this streaming, you know, product and how that's why they are purging a lot of content. They're looking at what's getting you know, uh, tuned into and what's not so much. And whatever's not so much, they're going to reduce and get rid of that content as well. Now, we already know that some Marvel and Star Wars content for Disney Plus for 2024 is also going to get purged to a certain extent. I'm not quite sure how significant that will be, but that is the overall game plan. And that just goes to show you that 
Disney is in a very difficult scenario. They really are walking on eggshells. And it just is further proof that Bob Iger contradicts himself. Just weeks ago, he's like, oh, you know, in the short term, we have no worries about Disney. I don't have any concern about that, not even in the long term. And then here we are, they're removing or planning to remove said content. They already have started to do this, by the way. Uh, they are planning to reduce said content to remove or reduce streaming strain. And that just goes to show you how bad of a situation Disney is right now. Now, do I think that they're gonna go bankrupt in two years? I don't believe so. I think it's gonna take a whole lot longer than that. But what I do see happening in the next couple of years, maybe within the next year, is that you're gonna see a business breakup. It's very possible that ABC gets sold off. It's very possible that, that, that things further happen with ESPN and Hulu. I mean, we all know the whole Comcast situation was a big uh, negative uh, press piece for them. But Disney really needs to learn that the customers are walking away quite rapidly at this point, even when it comes to the parks. But let's get back to Iger. He goes on to elaborate further. This is not to say that we will be abandoning Marvel and Star Wars content on Disney Plus in the grand scheme, but rather reducing the flow of it in order to rethink our strategy as we move along throughout 2024. It is our aim to make things right with our customers and all must be informed that this is a temporary solution in our mind and won't be something for the long term, but rather for all of 2024 to create and analyze a pattern for our customers of what's in demand and what's not based on our reduced spending and its impact on content creation by not, of course, other our creators, but other creative directors, writers, and producers for all things Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars, plus more to arrive in the future that we'll be announcing as well. Now, again, Bob Iger contradicting himself again. Why do they have a need to increase rates of Disney Plus and their plans, whether it's a combo plan or a singular plan, why do you have to increase rates if you're dialing back on content and also spending less on making this content for the new stuff to arrive? Why would you have to up the rates? This just sounds like Disney is once again getting greedy as much as they are getting greedy again and again with their parks, which by the way, we'll talk more about that later. Their parks are about to get a whole lot more expensive throughout the third quarter of 2024. We'll talk more about that later in the week. But what's even all the more revealing about Bob Iger is how he constantly contradicts himself. Every single week, he's like a flip-flopper. He says one thing, and then the next thing he says contradicts the other. And then the, the next thing he says, it's like a repeat of that. And I think at the end of the day, Bob Iger is just trying to make himself heard and trying to stabilize the company, trying to keep the shareholders from not worrying too much about what's going on with Disney right now. And that is further proof also why the stocks are not making a rebound. So anyway, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later.